So we're calculating the bacon number of a bunch of different actors in our spreadsheet. And to stay on topic, I want to say big spoiler alert. If you watch the rest of this movie, you know how to do it. So if you still want to try it, this is your second chance. Stop watching this now, download the spreadsheet and try to see if you can do it for yourself. It will really be a lot more fun than watching me ex just explain it. Okay, you're still here. I guess you've done your homework. So let's see how I solve this problem using a spreadsheet. Here's our database or our spreadsheet, uh, the little version where we just have a number of actors. So the first thing that we need, of course, is to determine who in our spreadsheet is actually bacon. Well, that's pretty easy. We can just use a conditional formula where we say, is this actor equal to Kevin Bacon? If it is, he will have the bacon number of one. If he isn't, we could say then you have bacon number zero, but that's not entirely accurate. Actually, the bacon number of someone in step one who is not Kevin Bacon is not zero, but it's undefined. There's just no way of connecting two actors. So we use a little dash for that instead of a zero, which is mathematically just more accurate. And it would also help us because in the rest of the solution, we're going to use mathematical functions like the sum and the minus. And if we have zero in, the, in there, it might mess things up. So in one step, the only one we can reach is Kevin Bacon. So he has bacon number one and the rest we don't know yet. So based on this, we can see how far we can go. Let's go back to our list of movies. And it's pretty easy to determine now w w which of the movies have someone in them with a bacon number that's not undefined. We can just do a few lookup of the list of actors. There we go. Of course we use false because we're using a direct connection. Don't forget, select this and hit F4. And then we can drag this formula down and the movies that have Kevin Bacon in it will now have a one after them. For instance, Crazy Stupid Love has Kevin Bacon in it, so it gets one. So what we would like to do now is propagate this one to the entire movie so we can see who else in the movie will get the bacon number two because Kevin Bacon is in it. And what we like to have in the movie worksheet is a bacon number, not of an actor, but of a movie. And we can of course do that again with a view lookup. If we look here, we can see who is in the movie. And we use a little bit of a dirty trick for this because we can use the sum if function. We just sum all the values for a given movie and we sum the steps that we currently have. And if we sum a one and a two dashes, the result will be one. And if we sum just a bunch of dashes, the result will be zero. So this sum will actually, sum if will actually result in one if someone in the movie has a bacon number and it will result in zero if no one in the movie is connected to Kevin Bacon. So if we drag this down, you see those two movies, Crazy Stupid Love and Wild Things have one and the other movies had zero. So we are slowly getting there because we know now in one step what, what actor, Kevin Bacon, and what movies can I reach. So we can continue this in a second step. So now we want to have the correct number, not just for the Kevin Bacon version of the movie, but for all of the other actors in the movie. And we can do this again with a VLOOKUP. We're going to go to the movie worksheet, VLOOKUP, and we find the associated Bacon number for the movie. And we can hit F4, and then we can drag this down. So we're close, but here we have zeros because the view lookup in the other worksheet, the sum if resulted in a zero. And that's not what we want. We want to have a dash. So let's see if this view lookup is equal to a dash, then the result should be another dash. Oh, I'm sorry. If it's equal to zero, it should be another dash. And otherwise it should be equal to the view lookup, but plus one because Kevin Bacon, Bacon's number is one, and everyone who has been in a movie with him should get the number plus one. So now we have the right numbers in the right line for all the actors. And if we just get this in, in the actor worksheet, we will have the correct calculation. So there we go. Step two, what we can just do is use another VLOOKUP, and we're going to look for the actor, 
and now we take the fourth column, the D column, because there we have everyone who has been in a movie with Kevin Bacon will have two, and the others will have a dash. So this is almost correct. We see that those people that have it two are indeed the ones who have been in a movie with Kevin Bacon. So it almost works. There's just one thing that's still a little bit strange is that in the second step, Kevin Bacon now has two, and that's because we went from him to Crazy Stupid Love and back. But that's not really fair because he already had the Bacon number of one. So what we really need to do is take the minimum of what we have already calculated and what is in this extra step. And you see that in a previous video, I forgot to hit F4 there, so I have corrected that now as well. So we see Kevin Bacon now has one, all the others have two, but unfortunately, because of the use of the minus operation, we now get an, an error value. I don't know why this is, but if you have two minuses, if they're in different worksheets, apparently Excel gives an error. So we add an if error around it. If we get an error, then we write a dash, and otherwise we use the minus. So we have done it. Now for one step, we've calculated one Kevin Bacon, and everyone that has been in a movie with Kevin Bacon now has Bacon number two. We would still need to continue this entire step another time if we would want to do it for three steps, and then for four steps, and then for five steps. So can we do this? Yes, we can. You've just seen me do it. However, if you continue this calculation, and I encourage you to try to continue it by yourself, then you'll see that for three steps, you will need eight auxiliary columns, eight conditional formulas, three minuses, and eight VLOOKUPs. So that's maybe not really what you want, and then you're just at three steps. And I've looked it up, and apparently the highest number that an actor in Hollywood has is 12. So if you want to continue this calculation for 12 steps, then we need like 25 fee lookups. So probably we're not really on the right path here, but it is possible.